My name is Sissy Baker, and I am the proud granddaughter of Senator Everett Dirksen, for whom this award is named. My grandfather Dirksen described himself as a garden variety Lincoln Republican, but he was anything but that. He was a statesman. He reached across the Senate aisle, seeking consensus and compromise on matters that were most important to all Americans, Democrats, Republicans, and independents. My grandfather describes the brutal burning of the Capitol by the British, and then he stands outside the Senate chamber and describes the majestic architecture and meaning of what the United States Capitol has come to be for all Americans. But there's one thing I don't want to forget, and that is what Webster said when uh, we were dedicating the cornerstone of the Capitol and when uh, all the functions of government were up here, except that this part from 1812 on was immobilized for a time, because this is the part that the British burned. They brought all these documents and papers down here and set them on fire. What a cruel and heinous thing it was. I think I could still hate them for that, <laughs> but I won't. But I think you'd be interested in what Daniel Webster said in 1851 when they were laying the cornerstone for the capital expansion. He said, and all here assembled, whether belonging to public or private life, with hearts devoutly thankful to almighty God for the preservation of the liberty and the happiness of the country, here unite in sincere and fervent prayers that this deposit and the walls and the arches and the domes and the towers, the columns now to be erected over it may endure forever. God save the United States of America.